can you use automotive wax on a boat? Answer coming up. It is time to put a shine on the old chaparral. We have not waxed this boat since we got it, and it shows. Uh, running up here, have a look. Running up and down in the Thames River, that water is dirty. It's just not doing it. You gotta take care of it. So today, I'm gonna answer the age old question. Can you use automotive wax on a boat? Before I get started, the answer to the question, can you use automotive wax, car wax? on a boat the answer is yes you can there's a reason you don't want to but the answer is yes you can so the reason you don't want to use it is because the automotive wax doesn't last as long when you put it on your normal car you're not driving your car into the lakes it's not covered in water all the time water running past it it lasts a lot longer when you put your boat in the water constantly going through the water constantly going through the waves it washes it off a whole lot quicker the reason you don't want to use it is it safe to use yeah you can what I'm going to try and do is try something a little bit different so I've got some hard shell turtle wax cheap stuff it was like nine dollars I'm going to do the boat and I'm going to do probably four or five coats nice thick coats then I'm going to hit it with some nice boat wax that won't be in today's video but that's the plan so let's get this going Alright guys, I went ahead and I got the blue waxed up on both sides. I'm just letting the wax dry up right now. The reason I went ahead and did the whole thing, like all the blue, is because it's not a lot of surface area, which means I'll start where I... Phone call. I wish the telemarketers would understand I'm trying to make a video here. Anyways, what I've done is I've done the blue all the way around. I'm now letting the wax set up. The reason I did the blue, like I said, because it's not a lot of surface area, and I can get it done fairly quickly, so I'm not going to do a patch, wait 20 minutes, go do another patch. I, I'm about getting it done, so I'm not going to sit out here in the heat. So we've done the blue all the way around. It's just about set up. I'm going to take it off, and we'll see if we can see a noticeable difference from the start of this video to now. Let's check it out. All right, I should start this. I should also let you know, in case you ain't noticed by now, I am not a professional detailer, nor do I claim to be. But the wax is dry. We're going to start taking some off and see if we can see a bit of a difference. Now we started back here in the corner. Let's see. Now I don't know how well it shows up on camera. But there's an obvious difference. Okay. Even though this still looks faded. And yes there's wax on there. It was that faded beforehand. So... This is where we're at now. This is where we were. Put you guys up on a perch over here. I'm going to finish this side. And we'll see how we look. So... One coat of wax. That's the difference we're gonna have here. This still gotta come off yet, but it's coming along nicely. Let's put you back up here. Arms getting sore. Bring the power. All right, we brought out the power. Uh, main reason is because I'm getting old. I've got to be careful. I don't want to burn the gel coat. Oh, here we go.
here guys let me give you a bit of a walk around here so I showed you before the blue paint was really faded I mean it was baby blue but you could tell it was faded it's nice and smooth it's got that coat of wax on it this one here I missed around here so this is wax it's got to come off there in a second it's our backside I think the color is coming up nicely We look at it from this angle here you see the extension cord in there i hope you can see that but it shined up nice all right so this side here didn't turn out too bad but as i'm looking at it i can see some of the spots that i missed and uh, see this is all for the Colors coming off. There's no real. There's no wax there. It's not a wax. It doesn't look like a wax buildup. But put a little more work into that. See if we can get that off. Get a little bit of wax here. But nothing down here. So you see this here. This is what we're trying to get off of here. But other than that, came up pretty good. Now, all that's left, well, all that's left, there's a lot left. I'm not gonna bore you with it, but now, now I gotta do the white. And then I gotta do this. But it is climbing up into the 90s right now, so I may do that another day. Eh, what the heck, I'll do it right now. I really wanna see what that white's gonna look like. All right, guys, here's the time for the truth. Something happened here that I don't like so I cleaned the bottom of the boat okay so the blue turned out really nice really nice now this shows up on camera but look at these dark spots right I'm not sure what that is so I did put a little bit of wax on there and then it was looking like crap so I took it off pressure washed it down it looks better like that than it does did before but if you tell me why it's doing that let me know. I'm going to try and scrub on that a little bit. See if I can get that to come back white again. But I'm not quite sure why. I certainly hope that is not the paint coming off. Because that would suck real bad. Anyway, that's what we got. The blue looks really nice. The white, eh, not so much. Around the front. There you go there. Only thing left to do is the top up here. You see where it's really been neglected. Um, I'm thinking the thinking the people that had it before us never waxed the boat at all, and this is our second year having it. So either way, it's looking good. Hope you all got something out of that. Yeah, uh, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe channel. Subscribe channel. Hit the subscribe channel. Hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you along. Try to find my words. English can be tough sometimes. See you in the next one. I'll play later. Watch these guys behind us hit our waves. Just hang on, guys. Hold on. <laughs>